so that was spontaneous. Nice to see celebrity love. So we're leaving the Droitwich Old Canal and we are going to move on to the new section of the canal. I think it's called Junction Canal. Well, it was called Junction Canal. So we're just going past the town. Droitwich Spa Town is a beautiful place to visit. It's full of history. It's got quirky little houses all on the wonk. A lovely parks. People are so friendly. I've really enjoyed my stop in this town. Nipping into town, there's a post office, and thank you so much if you have ordered my greetings cards. I'm really touched by your orders, I really am. So I've got a backpack full of them, and I'm going to go off to the post office and then carry on the journey. I'm in Vines Park, which used to be the actual heart of the salt works in Droitwich Spa Town. The sky would be black with smoke where coal was being burnt to evaporate the brine to salt, and the witch trow boats would be lining up and transporting and loading their goods. So that's done, now I'm just going to go and do the swing bridge. I'm using my Bodus key to try to unlock the gate and then I'm going to give it a big push. This is where it normally goes wrong for me. Firstly, I can never work out what direction you're supposed to push them in. I know it's probably obvious to some people but I just never could work it out. Then a really friendly passerby who happens to need to cross the bridge decides to help me push the bridge open. And with the kindness of this gentleman, we leave beautiful Droitwich Spa Town. So we have got a very low tunnel coming up, which is the M5 tunnel. So before we go through the M5 culvert, we have got a lock to do. I think when we come out of this lock ahead, there's a little tester that you can do to see if your boat's going to fit underneath. We didn't have any rain yesterday, but we have had a lot of rain, so I don't know what the level is going to be. It was 1.8 metres when I walked here the other day, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, six miles away. safe on a narrow boat in a thunderstorm. I survived the thunderstorm and then I checked how likely it was that lightning can strike a narrowboat and actually it's highly unlikely. So that's a good sign, we're well and truly in the green. So just here, running alongside the canal, is the River Sarwalk. Flowing into the River Severn and 20.4 miles in length. Cups are lining the lock chambers today 
And also you'll notice that the locks are narrow now and that's because when we came into Droitwich we left behind the last double lock and now we're on narrow locks again. word caution and all of the other words have gone pink and yellow <laughs> so caution blur okay so we're approaching the warning sign I think this might be for the M5 tunnel And this is the little marker that shows you how low the tunnel will get. So if we can't fit through here, we have to go back. Change all of our plans. We might chop the tomatoes a bit. Let's see. That's the highest thing on our roof, I think. We've taken everything else off. Apart from our own heads, of course. And so we, are, we will have to duck. keep us low we filled up with water so we have a heavy tank at the front and we ate a great big breakfast so we're adding a bit of weight to that and this is the sign since I was here the other day the water has dropped now here I've completely forgotten that if there's going to be a gauge at the western entrance, there's also going to be one at the eastern entrance. Rose quite quiet I think today for the M5. <laughs> right, so we go straight into another lock. So it's really busy this part of the canal, there's lots of locks and swing bridges and low tunnels and narrow tunnels so you've got to keep your wits about you on this bit it's lovely though it's still very beautiful it was actually in one of these locks this time last year that a stag party hired a narrow boat and they sunk it fortunately though there were no injuries <laughs> realise I've just done that other lock that we've just gone through wrong. I hope they don't send me to canal prison. Because look, it says with boating lock, closed lock gates, open side pond paddle first. So I have to open this side pond paddle first. These side ponds are like mini little reservoirs, collecting the water as the lock empties so it can be reused again as the lock fills. is the end of the locks today. So here's a bit of a conundrum. Oh, it's more hem. There's a turn here, you can go left towards Birmingham or you can go right towards Worcester. But what are we gonna do? Stunning. 
So that's the turn to Worcester. We're not going down there today. If you watched last week's vlog, you'll know that I shared our cruising plans for the summer with you and so we should have been turning that way towards Worcester. But we wanted to do a little turn down here because it looked really pretty. And we thought it would be a nice place to stay for a week before we make our way towards Worcester. So to see the Armco, I think we're going to try and moor here. moored we're not too far from a national trust site called Hanbury oh <laughs> sorry there's little ants on the roof where we are moored we're not too far from Hanbury Hall so I thought Zephyr and I would have a little walk and go and explore and find out a bit more about it I don't think she's going to be allowed in the actual hall itself um, but we'll have a little look around and see where we can get into wow they are so busy so we go over the railway line but across a bridge I try and follow my nose, it's a saying I've got. When I'm doing a walk, I don't want to look at the map, I like to follow my nose. And I get to see some really lovely things that way. I just never end up where I'm supposed to end up. So I did just check the map, and that is where Hanbury Hall is. And here we are at Vernon Hall, sitting in 400 acres of Grade 2 listed parkland and once the home of the Vernon family. Emma Vernon inherited Hanbury Hall when she was only 16 years of age and then she ended up eloping a couple of years later with the curate leaving her husband behind so he shut the hall down and sold all the furniture. It wasn't until he died and she returned that it opened again. But when it was the turn for Lady Georgina Vernon to take over Hanbury Hall, she set up a hospital for convalescent soldiers, founded a school for unruly girls, and was heavily involved in the Red Cross. Over in the distance, tucked between the trees, looks like somewhere really inviting. It's completely off track, but I follow my nose. Okay, so we've come out to a road. So this house is called the Coach House. And this is the church. It's just 
so following my nose has brought me here and it's really stunning i think i probably said the word beautiful a hundred times on this vlog i'm sorry about that but it just is so so gorgeous but i have no idea <laughs> i have no idea where we are i think if i'm using my nose that we have to go back this way there we go we with a little help from the map and a little help from the nose we're back look at this it's so cute i've just let zephyr through it already but this is her own little dog door you're gonna come through your door Yay! <laughs> I spy an orange to peg on the cuckoo flower. That's the first one I've spotted so far. Swing bridge is creaky. Rickety, squeaky, pushed by a passerby lending a hand. Badger-like tunnels, grab at the gunnels, going dead slow, heads low's how we stand. Our noses we follow, where snakes wind and wallow, pied wagtails wag their tails to bid us hello. Vetch scent scent soaring, perfuming the mooring, completely off course but the right way to go. We'll get back on track, but for now, we'll just flow. Thank you. 